Hello and welcome back to Black Bear Forge. It's Sunday morning and that means it's time for another hook of the week. So let's go get into our bucket of useful looking hook materials and see what we can find. As many people have made comments, this thing really doesn't look much like a bucket anymore, but it's still got some interesting stuff in it. I think today we're going to go with this. This is actually a mouse using Clay Spencer's mouse die under the treadle hammer or power hammer. This one was never finished. Nothing was ever done to it. I think we'll look real quick at that die once again, just so you can see what it does. We've made the mice before. I'll link to a video up here on just how that die works and using it, but we'll take a quick look at it as part of this. Then we'll draw out the section that's going to be the tail. That'll be the hook. And we'll put a screw hole in his back and hopefully a color matched flathead wood screw won't be real out of place there. And then you can hang a little mouse on the wall and his tail can be a little hook. Be ideal for hanging pot holders in the kitchen or something. And I think somebody suggested that in an earlier video featuring this mouse die. So let's head over to the forge and let's get to work. There's the Clay Spencer made mouse die. And you just sink the mouse in there. This one's already pretty much done, so I'm not doing much. And the little flash around the edge will need to be ground down. But then the tail will draw out into a hook. And I'll probably cut it off right there. But let's make one from scratch, just because we can. So this just goes in the, the die, and you just accept that there's going to be some flash over the top. I think this is about deep enough. It's going to take a fair amount of cleaning up with a grinder, or maybe even cut the profile on a bandsaw first. This is a little bit too big a piece of material, which is probably why this other mouse was in the scrap bin. So that ground out a little bit. I think I can get in here and sink it a little bit deeper. That's looking much better. So I've trimmed both of these off and I've left enough to draw it out a nice long tail to make the hook out of. Hopefully it's about the same amount for each one. This is what's left. It'll go back in the bucket. I'm just going to draw this out. These will be pretty simple hooks today. I'm going to do the same thing with both hooks. These cool off quick, so get them back in the fire. If it gets cold right at that transition, that's an easy place to stress it and crack it off. This will be a bit heavy for a mouse tail, but I want it about 3 sixteenths, and then tapering down to the end.
I think this one's going to have a slightly shorter tail, so I'll finish it first and trim the other one to match if need be. And start rounding it up. It's drawn to the taper square, and then we round it, go to octagon, and then round. Working down to a low heat helps get all the scale off. I trim the tail on this other one off just a little bit. Very close to the same length. We'll go to octagon. the usual little rat tail curl, which seems appropriate for a mouse hook. I guess it's a mouse tail curl. And to shape the hook, I'm just going to use a pair of round nose pliers. This really lets you fine tune the shape since I'm not sure exactly what size hook I want here. I get to mess with it a little bit. Refine it. And of course, we'll do the same thing with both hooks. And just what this hook looks like is up to you. If you want it to kind of curve around a little bit so it looks more like a mouse's tail, that would probably be okay. In fact, this one does some anyways. And you may need to straighten it out a little bit right here at the horn. And if you want to take a little bit of a twist out, you can put it in the vise and do to it. To straighten it up and make it look the way you want. Next thing will be to drill a couple of holes. And of course, let's give them one last wire brushing to get any extra scale off of them. But also to blend the colors on the hole, since the hole is bright and shiny after drilling it, and this will make it black just like the rest of the mouse is even though most of it shouldn't show, but sometimes a little edge shows with the screw in. And of course, as they cool, we can put a little wax on them. Well, there are two little mouse hooks. These might look good kind of staggering up the wall. Probably need three of them so you can have three blind mice going up the wall. Of course, they didn't have any tails, so they wouldn't be a hook. Anyways, just a quick reminder for those who are interested, I still have Black Bear Forge t-shirts available on the Etsy shop, and I have stickers, things like that over there. And a lot of these hooks ultimately will end up over there. I'm way behind posting them. But if you keep an eye on the Etsy shop, you just might find some of these hooks for sale. But other than that, that's all I've got for today. Join us next week for another exciting episode of the Hook of the Week. But in the meantime, I hope you have time to get out to your shop, make something, stay safe. 
Wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next one.